This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, their data tools unit. I'm on lesson nine, permanent data storage, puzzle six. Messing around with data. The third parameter of create record is a callback function. What does it do? I bet they'll tell us. Data commands must be sent across the internet to a remote server. The database follows a protocol in which it responds to every data command with a message. This message might be a piece of data you request, or it could be an error message. You might need to use, to use the contents of the response in your program, but because of delays caused by sending information back and forth across the internet, you don't know when you will receive the message. Therefore, you can create a callback function that will be called by the system when the response comes back. In other, in other words, when the database calls back, the parameter of the callback function contains the data being sent back. So just to point out, this is completely real in JavaScript. Uh, this is how it works. JavaScript would just keep running. So your code would just keep going. You'd run the next line. And then with the callback function, if that data, well, when that data comes back, then you have something execute upon it coming back. It also means you got to be um, strategic about organizing information because if the next line of code requires the callback information, well, that callback might not be there yet, right? So you might not have the info yet. Anyways, all right. So this is important. For a create record, the database responds by sending back a copy of the original of the object that was stored. The record parameter of the callback function contains that object. Yeah, so it sends back the same thing. Analogy. When you made an event handler using on event, you also specified a callback function. That function got called when you when the user triggered the specific event but you were watching for or listening for. The callback function of the database command, like create record, gets triggered when the database sends the message back. Do this. The starter code is provided that adds a song object to the database. Run the program, look at the data to verify that that object is stored, is, is use just stored, is actually in the database, along with several songs we added to start you out. Notice the callback function now displays the copy of the record that was returned by the database. So what it's saying here is it's going to it should already have the copy of the record that was returned by the database, right? So it has saved the info. I'm going to run our program. Now I'm going to go to our database and I am going to take a look at my songs. Hmm. So I'm a bit disappointed that I don't see their uh, extra songs they provided to start us out. But it is saving, and then the council log is working and calling up uh, the record from the database. Awesome. Let's uh, keep going.